Hello there, Fellowship of the Rire, I'm here. I'm finishing in one of my Nordings some 1Q. I went to a small gathering with some friends uh, on my bicycle, a 35 minute ride while smoking my pipe, and I really uh, I, I'm really digging at the idea of having a nice relaxing smoke while riding my bicycle. Mm, anyway, this is going to be um, an entry, and I'm not sure if it's a context or just a question about crazy neighbors. And I kind of had a hard time trying to figure it out either a really good neighbor or a, or a really bad neighbor that I had until I remember just the last apartment in which uh, we live with uh, with my wife. Um, at one point, uh, an, an old, a middle-aged lady moved in exactly below our apartment. We live in the first floor, she lived in the basement. And my wife told me like she used to look at her weird, like stare weird at her, and I never experienced that. Until one afternoon, I we we came together at home, and while we were walking in the building entrance, my wife told me just just pay attention and yeah 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 she was right she's there funny and from that point on I kind of had a, a, a stare contest with her every time I saw her I was like, like uh. <laughs> a couple of months after she, she moved in um, we were here at, uh, we were at home in that apartment and, and the the doll bear the doll the doorbell uh, rang and my wife went to the door and I started hearing this Korean lady's voice louder and louder uh, to the point of like anger and I went out to see what was going on and my wife told me hey, this crazy lady I don't understand a word what she's saying I, I politely explained that we didn't speak Korean and my Korean wasn't enough and it's not still not not good enough to understand but I couldn't understand only the word Hawaiian shield which is um, bathroom and um, our next door neighbor was going out when when he saw us and, and very kindly he started trying to translate this is almost over say that it's actually our and so he explained to us that the problem was that uh, her toilet which it was directly below ours uh, sometime after we flush or we had a shower either wastewater or something else was flooding there their toilet and I was of course shocked and I understood immediately why she was in so much despair so I told her okay so, so you will have to break the floor and, and bring some people to check what's going on and and I, I told him like yeah sure I mean of course whatever you need um, I'll give you access and you can check it out if there is something wrong of course that's, that's terrible and she, and and she said no 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 and very serious with a very serious with a straight face she told us that the solution was quite simple that we should stop using the shower and the toilet <laughs> how about that for crazy so i i asked her i mean are you being serious and she said yeah of, i mean well the translate of course that yeah that's that the solution just stop using the toilet like what's wrong with you I mean just 
but I, 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 I won't say that I use a bad word or anything like that, but I was extremely serious at that point. It's like, you talk to the landlord and let him talk to me. I, I don't want to deal with you. If somebody needs to check this out, the landlord has to talk to me, not you. Unbelievable. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mm, so that is my crazy neighbor story. So what do you think? Stop using your toilet? As always, my friends, buff away.